goodness. Now go give me some coffee. Don't look at me like that. I'm dead serious. I am dead serious. I cannot function without coffee. Now go get it. Coffee. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry if I was being mean to you earlier. Um, I, I have to have my coffee first. In any case, um, come, on, come on over here. Uh, what I'm going to need you to do, I shouldn't have this next to the evidence. Um, we just got this back from a murder crime scene. Uh, your first task is to basically analyze these two substances. We pretty much know, or we think we know what they are, but we have to make um, observations about it just to make sure. So what I want you to do is analyze these two substances, use every sense you have except taste, because we have to have the same amount that we started out with. So make your observations, write it into your notebook. Um, after you write those observations into your notebook, go ahead and mix them together just to see what happens. Nothing will probably happen because we figure we know what these are. But um, just in case, go ahead and mix them together. And after you mix them together, measure the final mass of it. Um, we already measured the initial mass from the crime scene, so we know how much we have. Um, and then you're going to give your findings to the head lab, head lab tech. His name's Clint. Uh, they call him the deucer. You'll, you'll find out why later. All right, so um, go ahead and get to work on that and give me your findings later. Do not be late to give me your findings, okay? He does not like it when we're late. Finally, we're running late. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Check your findings? I ain't got time for that. You're late. First day on the job, and you walk in late to my office. I hope this is not a precedent that you continue, good sir. Do you have a good explanation for being late? Hmm? Flat tire? Cat chased you around the block? No? You're just late. All right, well. You're already starting off on the wrong foot. I hope uh, this report makes up for it. What is this? This is a joke, right? Right? This is a joke, right? You're kidding. Who put you up to this? Come on. Did the secretary put you up to this? Come on, this is the, you've got to be joking. They told you to walk in ten minutes late and give me a fake report, right? No. So, initially, we had, according to the actual report, two hundred and fifty grams of material here, and now we do not have two hundred and fifty grams of material. Do you have a valid explanation for that? Mm hmm. What do you mean? Ooh. What does ooh mean? Mm -hmm. that, that's not an argument as to why you're missing stuff. You've given me a false report. You either stole it, or you ate it, or the wind blew it away, or something had to happen. Ooh is not an explanation. So what happened? Where's the rest of the material? It's clearly less than 250 grams. And this clearly says 250 grams right here. So where is it? Just gone? Mm -hmm. mm, what is that? What is it? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a couple options. I personally really like two of them. And the third one is the one I don't like so much. The first one, you go to jail. And you're not going to like jail. You can't defend yourself. Okay? You're not going to like jail at all. That's option one. I'm okay with that. Tampering with evidence is illegal. Second option, I just fire you. You clearly don't know how to do your job. You don't know how to read a watch, apparently. 
because you don't know what time it is. And you walk in here and you give me this nonsense late. And it's, it's awful. Like a three-year-old just scribbled in a notebook. That's option two. Or three, you give me a good reason as to why I had 250 grams of material and now I do not have 250 grams of material. I hope you choose option three and it better be a very good reason. Now, get out of my office. Deuces. So what happened to them? <coughs> you stole evidence? <coughs> All right, look. If you didn't steal evidence, you need to figure out what happened. You need to do some sort of research, either read something, anything to that effect. But you need to figure out what happened. And I better not find out that you stole some evidence, because if you do, my job's at risk. Okay? He's going to call internal affairs. He's going to call Wilshire. Wilshire's going to be very, very angry. He's going to come at me. And if you took something, I'm turning you in, because okay? this is not going to happen. I'm not going to get fired over this. Got it? Glad you're here, five minutes later, but come on in then. Have a seat. So, um, I hear you like to have a little, a little sniff about in the morning, a little, a little loosen me up, right? A little tip back. That's good, good, because that's not okay, all right? We don't muck about like that around here. Now, I'm just having a little laugh with you, so just calm it down, it's, just relax. We're here because there's some missing evidence, right? Now, what well, you've got to know is you've got to have a formal defense. No hiring some guy off the back of a bus with the one eight 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 eight. You can't do that. You've got to get in the book. You've got to get some evidence, couple paragraphs, where you defend yourself. You can't just say something like, oh, Oh, well, I don't know. It's all gone. I think a puppy came and licked it all up and took it away. I loaned it to my sister. Now, that's not going to fly around here. We need something that's real and legitimate. All right? You've got to get it down on some paper. i got to have some reasons, real reasons why... The evidence is missing. You've got to defend yourself, mate. Get your dukes up, not your literal ones. We're not here for fisticuffs. What I'm talking about is in a, a sense on the paper. All right? You getting it? Now get on, get out.